Hello everyone, this video is about MBTI, also known as Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. It actually is a personality assessment instrument. It is an instrument you use to measure personality. Before I continue the video, the population of the planet at the moment of recording this video is 7,531,585,930. Now MBTI again. This was developed by Catherine Cook Briggs and her daughter Isabel Briggs Meyer. Yes, you heard me right. They were mother and daughter. I am not going to talk about how it was actually developed and the history and the origins of this personality test. What I am going to talk about is what this test is and what it does. So basically, this is like a test where you have to answer 100 questions and based on your answer choices, we can determine your personality. That sounds simple enough. Let's dig in. So one person can have four main characteristics of personality. In the first one, we have E and I. You are either extroverted or introverted. An extroverted individual is outgoing, sociable and assertive. On the other hand, introverted people are quiet and shy. Then we have S and N. That is, you are either sensing or intuitive. Intuitive is N because I was taken away by introverts. Now, sensing types are practical and they generally like routine and order. Intuitive types, on the other hand, rely on unconscious processes and they like to look at the bigger picture. Then we have T e and F. They are thinking and feeling. The thinkers use logic and reason to handle any problems and make any decisions. On the other hand, the feeling types rely on their personal values and emotions when it comes to handling problems and making decisions. Then we have J and P. These are judging and perceiving. The judging type prefers to be in control. They want everything to be in proper order and structure. On the other hand, the perceiving types are flexible and spontaneous. They can go with the flow. So, on one hand, you have ESTJ and on the other side of the spectrum, you have INFP. All the personality types are a combination between these types you can see over here. There are a total of 16 personality types. That is 4 times 4 makes 16. These are all the 16 types of personality that there is. So now we know that there are 16 personality types. But what is the use of it? Why do we need to learn this anyway? Well, if you know the personality type of a person, then you would get to know how the person sees the world and how they make any decision. Sometimes while applying for a job, companies might want to know the personality type of the person to see if the applicant is a perfect fit for the job they are applying to. And that would be the end of this topic. I would like to thank you people for watching this video. And if you guys want more, subscribe to this channel. And for the bonus part, I would like to say that the meaning of the Latin phrase ad hoc is for this purpose only. Okay, bye for now.